From The Simpsons to Sabrina the Teenage Witch to David Letterman and many, many more shows, Nell Scavell is one of the most successful comedy writers in Hollywood. She's been shattering glass ceilings for 30 plus years. Her new book is called Just the Funny Parts and Scavell writes about sneaking into the Hollywood Boys Club, getting Homer Simpson to eat blowfish and writing one-liners for the leader of the free world. And I was born, of course, in Hawaii. I sat down with her in New York. You write a lot about being anxious in interviews and in social <laughs> situations. I was a little like paranoid that this might not go well because I was like, oh my God, she's gonna be anxious and that'll make me anxious. The deer in headlights. <laughs> Why put yourself out there as a joke? Like I can think of a million other jobs to have for somebody who doesn't want her you know, to be out front. Well, my career's unusual. But it shouldn't be unusual. You know, there should be hundreds of people like me. And yes, it would be better if one of them <laughs> were here talking to you. Uh, I tried performing um, I, in, the, in just the funny parts. I tell this story about um, meeting Jay Leno at a comedy club and him telling me I was funny and I should do stand up. And I was like, no. And he said, why not? Uh, don't you look at those people and think I could be better than that? And I said, uh, no, I look at those people and think every one of them is brave. And he goes, you shouldn't do stand up. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever that gene is that makes some people less self-conscious, um, I don't have. But uh, at the same time, I love writing jokes. I love being part of Hollywood. So this was a great way to do it. Why do you think there are still so few women doing what you do. I mean, and 30 plus years ago, it was all like the pipeline issue, and we just right. don't have the women. And Well, I don't think it's a pipeline problem. I think it's a broken doorbell problem. And there are so many experienced, capable women and people of color and people with disabilities who are standing there on the doorstep ringing the bell, and no one is opening it. But I actually really want men to read this book, because I think uh, they will gain empathy for the kind of pressures and barriers that women face. You're sort of a connector. Like when someone is, is yeah. staffing up, the, the rule of thumb is to like call now because you have this list of like people. Right. And then hire them. My binders of funny women. <laughs> um, you worked at, at Vanity Fair and Spy yeah. and then you moved on to Newhart and then eventually ended up at Letterman. You describe it as sort of like your dream job, which they finally hired you full time, and <laughs> then you, right. you left. What, what was about the environment at, at Letterman that was problematic? So in 2009, David Letterman goes on air and admits to his, his audience, I have had sex with women I work with. This was a surprise to no one who had ever worked on the show. When you were working there, did the environment just feel toxic? It's problematic when it's the boss um, for two reasons. One, you know, it sets a, an example for behavior that's acceptable in the workplace, and, and it wasn't just him. And then the second is it's um, when the person who has the power to hire and fire people is um, making advances, it, it, there's an implicit threat there. Take us into the writer's room. Is it competitive? Is it, is it shouting? Is it quiet? It's, it's loud. It's loud and you gotta get in there. And I'm the middle child of five, and I think that was the best training <laughs> for a writer's room, was growing up at a dinner table where you just had to find a way to slide that joke in. What's been your best gig? your funniest, greatest, most enjoyable gig? Well, a real highlight was writing for President Obama for his White House Correspondents' Dinner. Writing jokes for the president was a real highlight. I wrote a joke where he's introducing himself. My name is Barack Obama. My mother was born in Kansas. My father was born in Kenya. And I was born, of course, in Hawaii. And then he does a big wink at the camera. And I thought, um, for a millisecond, you know, I had power over the leader of the free world. <laughs> Nell Scovell, the book is called Just the Funny Parts. Thank you so much for being with me. My pleasure.